if they put a sign there, it means that it happened more than once, right? I was about to step and I just did this. Snake! <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> After working and saving for two years, we are finally living the dream of traveling for Australia in a van. Follow us on our adventure in the land down under as we explore everything that this beautiful country has to offer. I'm Lucas. And I'm Elena. And welcome to One Cup on One Review. Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. The last time you saw us we were in the beautiful Byron Bay and we hiked to the most eastern point in Australia. But today we are in Port Macquarie and today we're going to be attempting to do the hike of the Coastal Walk Trail. And usually it takes about like three hours to do it but we're going to be adding to it because we're not driving there. We're going to be walking from our campsite all the way to the lighthouse and then we're going to start the trail. Let's do this. $195 a week or maybe like about a thousand dollars a month we're moving to Port Macquarie That was definitely worth the stop. So how are you feeling that sport? I feel good. I feel like it's been what, like half an hour, 40 minutes? So I feel like we're still doing quite well. But we'll see in like two, three hours in how we're gonna feel. <laughs> All instances of public nudity should be reported to Crime Stoppers. If they put a sign there, it means that it happened more than once, right? I think we should get naked. At this point, oh, my hiking app said that we've done 54 minutes yeah. and we're nowhere near the lighthouse. So we're nowhere near the starting point of the trail. But we're gonna get there. And then we're gonna get to the end. I keep seeing this little plant on the trail and I have no idea what it is. Does anybody in the comments know what this is? I'm not gonna eat it, but it does look very delicious. Yeah. It looks poisonous to me. We've been waiting for this for like an hour. We thought that we needed, we didn't need water bottles and now I feel like we do. <laughs> <laughs> so today is officially the first day that we're wearing our hiking shoes that we bought in Brisbane. And like, I feel like they're so comfy and they're gonna make such a big difference because we're gonna go in so many hikes around Australia. But these are it. And my ones are so tiny and Lucas's ones are so big. <laughs> Sexy. Sexy hiking shoes. We can finally, finally see the lighthouse. Still a tiny bit far, but that's gonna be the start of our trail. <laughs> So we were just thinking about what our reward could be at the end of the trail because we're gonna be walking for basically four hours or maybe even a tiny bit more and we thought that the best reward especially for people like us is food and we know that fish and chips is amazing in Port Macquarie because it's a coastal town so we're just gonna have that and then after that 
we're gonna have some ice cream and I feel like that's gonna be the perfect ending to our trail. I think that just this first part, just getting to the lighthouse, was our uh, workout and a yeah. half. So I think by the end of this, we definitely deserve that fish and chips. We do. All right, let's do this. Right now we're here at the lighthouse and we're going to hike all the way to here. And it's going to be a lot, but it's going to be fun. Is it bad to say that I'm already hungry? <laughs> no, because I'm starving as well. But hey, we only have three hours to go. This walk in the forest, basically, just is reminding us of this horrible memory that we have from our first week in Australia when we were in Brighton that is a town close to Brisbane we were in a national park and all of a sudden we got lost and we ended up on a kind of like off beaten path where we weren't supposed to be clearly because it looks like so wild and Lucas was just checking his phone to try and find a way out and all of a sudden I just see him jump like I've never seen him jump before and screaming snake and basically he was literally about to step on a snake thank god he just saw it right before he did I just did like this weird little dance where I did like a I was about to step and I just did this snake <laughs> and both me and Elena freaked out the snake freaked out but in the end it was just a common tree snake which they're not harmful to humans whatsoever they only bite you only if they feel trapped but we didn't know that at the time i'm trying to think about the fish and chips as like a motivation to keep on walking but it's hard What are you most looking forward to in this trip? So, I think that the place that I'm most looking forward to see is for sure with Sunday. That is basically just a group of islands off the coast of Queensland. And we're gonna go there in about August time, right? And I just saw so many videos and pictures of it and it literally looks like heaven. And you just can reach it with a boat. So it's gonna be like a day kind of trip and I just can't wait to be on that beach and just like look out at the ocean it's just gonna be amazing I'm gonna say for me it's probably gonna be Rottnest Island and one of the reasons for that is that when I used to work in administration back in London it was literally my wallpaper on my computer screen so that was basically what gave me the motivation to basically work hard, so save up money, you know, go through all the struggles of doing your nine to fives just to get here to Australia and be able to finally do this trip. So I can't wait for the moment of just getting to Rottnest Island and being able to see the wallpaper that I had on my computer by seeing it right in front of me. Not only that, but then seeing the quokkas as well because they are freaking adorable. just realized that the next part of the trail consists of those stairs and it looks so bad <laughs> okay. I hate stairs why can't they just put an escalator there would it be much much to ask
what we noticed, especially since we started traveling last week, is that Australian people are so friendly, especially in small towns like this one. And when you're going around town or like on this hike, for example, every single person like, that you cross, they just smile at you, they just say good morning, and they like smile and they mean it. Like it just like puts you in a good mood. Like Australian people are the best. When you are in the beaches here in Australia, you might see like the, the flags which are like yellow and red. And basically what it means is that you're supposed to swim between the flags because outside of those areas, the current is like very strong and might pull you in. So there's a little safety tip. One thing that you need to know is that Australia for some reason is famous for being the land of big statues of any kind of object or animal. Don't ask me why, but it's just a thing. And we just found one here in Port Macquarie. Here we have the big pencil. I'm so tired. <laughs> I think it's time to get up from this bench otherwise we're gonna get too comfortable and we're not gonna wanna leave Come uh, on <laughs> We are almost at the finish line. How do you feel about it? I feel so much better. I'm just thinking about that fish and chip now. Oh yes. As soon as we get to that fish and chips, I'm gonna hoover that up. This series of rocks that you can see behind me are called the break wall and they're very famous here in Port Macquarie because it all started out in 1995 because of an art competition and basically they just asked people to paint on rocks and from then on it just became a thing and nowadays everybody can just paint their own rock with either like memorials for somebody that passed away or birthday wishes or really whatever they want. I just can't believe it we're finally at the end of the trail it seems like this moment was never gonna come we went through like the ocean and the forest going downhill going uphill for literally five hours but we're here and I can already smell the fish and chips <laughs> oh my god honestly I would literally murder someone just to get to that fish and chips I will claw my way through anyone to get to that you now we're starving but we finish here on the beautiful side here you know with the ocean on the back amazing and now let's go tear that fish and chips up that fish and chips was the best fish and chips I ate in my life maybe it probably wasn't the best fish and chips out there but in this moment it was amazing it was amazing. Yeah, it was with chicken salt. So oh yeah. But we never tried fish and chips with chicken salt until now and we're very happy about it. Hey, best of both worlds. <laughs> so we just sat down now to have our ice cream. We stopped in uh, Baskin Robbins and we got ourselves some vanilla and chocolate chip. But the hike was amazing. We had a lot of fun. It was tiring as hell and uh, at some points we were getting tired there and we were like what the hell are we doing here but in the end it was worth it especially with the fish and chips and now with this yeah but just 
look out for our next video because next time we're gonna be in Newcastle that is a city close to Sydney and after that we're finally gonna get to Sydney we've been looking forward to it for so long and I'm sure it's gonna be even better than what we think and we'll see you guys on the next video If you enjoyed this video, make sure to share, like and subscribe to support the channel. And don't forget to follow us on our social media.